This video is going to review examples of skepticism. Before you watch this video, be sure you've watched the previous video that included the definition of skepticism as well as completing the illustrations activity on the science website. Before we continue, let's review some of the terms that we've learned. Skepticism is when scientists use caution when they're dealing with new ideas and require extreme amounts of evidence to support a claim. Scientists doubt claims with large amounts of scrutiny. We also looked at some illustrations to think about how much detail we can get out of some simple observations as well as apply some of these skills of scrutiny. These illustrations also showed us how our own personal views of phenomenon can impact our results, which is important because a scientific claim must fit the needs of the community of scientists in order to substantiate some type of claim for an explanation. So in this video, we're going to try to review some examples and give you some ideas on how skepticism could be used in science. We're going to look at some examples, and it'd be a good idea to uh, jot down these ideas in your notebook, right hand side, so you have them for your uh, notes. So we're going to get some of those things that scientists are skeptical about. A big one is health products. Think about this. You probably see commercials for all kinds of supplements, which are vitamins and minerals to uh, supplement somebody's diet. Uh, diet programs, right? Claims are being made about diet programs, um, which need to be substantiated. Um, and there's always news clips about new treatments that are showing promising cures, uh, but they're just isolated studies. And then them themselves are not really uh, a new you know, treatment, but are just uh, small pieces of science and not necessarily being substantiated. So. These are kinds of things that scientists would be skeptical about if we're thinking about things in terms of health. Scientists are also skeptical about all kinds of phenomena, right? Those are events and things that are happening in the natural world. Um, so on the screen here are a bunch, a list of quite a few different ones, like supernatural events. Um, could be uh, supernatural events, could be uh, poltergeists. Um, Monsters could include uh, the Loch Ness Monster, um, conspiracy theories, uh, intelligent design, and visitors from other planets are all things that scientists are skeptical about because of the fact that there's very little evidence that anything, anything of these type have actually occurred. Um, so that's why scientists are skeptical because there's no evidence to support them. As mentioned in the previous video, any new idea to science is met with skepticism, that doubtful approach that scientists take. Remember, um, as discussed in class, many theories were met with resistance at first. It takes a long time for new ideas to be accepted in science. And a good example of that is plate tectonics. <laughs> 